welcome to another episode of the Grand Meadows Fireside video series and what is a fairly long process of getting through the digestive system because it is kind of a complex deal we're going to be talking today about the small intestine which frankly is an area that seems to have been largely ignored by most supplement manufacturers you know everybody's kind of got things for the stomach everybody's focusing on the large intestine uh, but the small intestine, which is actually where most of the nutrients are absorbed, seems to have gone, you know, pretty much unnoticed uh, in terms of the whole debate. And yet it's absolutely critical. Um, so, you know, on the, on the screen now, you're going to see, you know, that, that side of the, the horse. So, you know, the small intestine, uh, you know, above the large, uh, large intestine there, uh, it's about 80 feet long. Uh, food feed passing into the small intestine normally anywhere from like 45 minutes to about two hours um, but basically you know the things that we're addressing in terms of the small intestine and any concerns that we might have are number one bacteria uh, uh, harmful bacteria in the small intestine that can sort of break down the cycle of digestion also uh, the whole issue of the digestibility of what is being fed to the horse and this is where you know basic cereal grains can create real issues now if we look at the next uh, slide I'm putting up on the screen on the next picture you're, you're gonna see uh, this kind of close-up of what are called the villi intestinal villi and and they line the entire small intestine and they basically uh, act as the vehicle for nutrients being absorbed uh, into the bloodstream through these um, villi and you can see the spelling of the word up on the left hand corner so you're going to be really good for uh, trivia now um, but what can also happen if we go on to the next page uh, on the screen here is that horses uh, particularly when they're stressed or through dietary changes, uh, lots of different circumstances can result in uh, the density uh, of the uh, villi being broken. Uh, so they're not really all connected. And a lot of times we can see uh, various different bacteria uh, that can actually uh, slip down in between these gaps and create problems and I'm going to touch on that a little bit more when we start to look at sort of solutions which will be just after we do the large intestine section but the bottom line you know the small intestine is absolutely critical uh, for the absorption of, of, of fats uh, amino acids carbohydrates and you know what we're really trying to do particularly in the higher grain diets is to digest all those carbohydrate starches uh, which create you know gas and obviously with the hope that we're going to be able to do that before they get into the large intestine where obviously you know problems can occur if the horse is not doing a good job of, of digesting all those carbohydrates so we'll get into the large intestine next time and keep the questions coming bye